Hi YouTube. This is something new. Um, it's not going to be a regular thing. I'm not a fan of putting on makeup. It's actually physically harder for me to do um, like these wings that everybody seems to have. Uh, and so it's, I'm not great at putting on makeup. It's not a usual thing for me. Anyway, detour of what I'm doing the vlog for. I'm not sure if people have noticed about uh, the patterns that um, the big four, Vogue, McCall's, Butterick, and Simplicity um, has been happening over the year or so. Uh, they're restructuring how they do their patterns. I haven't figured out a, a specific layout or um, this company is going to do this type of pattern or this company is going to do this type of pattern, but they're certainly shifting things around like some people some of the the designers that have been doing patterns for them originally from uh, Butterick now are in simplicity so they're 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 moving things around and I guess experimenting on um, different formats and and uh, maybe specializing in certain um, types of patterns for the specific uh, companies or the specific uh, titles as of this spring, there was a whole bunch of costumes that got discontinued. And as you know, this channel is for sewing cosplay and sewing in general, but tutorials and things like that, but mainly for cosplay and getting pointers on how to do things and how to do things better. Some of the pattern numbers that got discontinued were in fact already filmed. Uh, the example is the one that I'm going to be uploading today. I sewed that a while ago and been doing other things like little tutorials like how to do bias tape and how to do uh, um, piping as something to link to from costume videos it's like now I don't have to explain how to do it you just go to its own video my goal for the channel was to do current readily available patterns that people could go out and purchase but with the new discontinueds that has put a little speed bump into things and some of the patterns that got discontinued are great patterns and I really want to show how to do them. So I'm going to uh, do a series on out of print patterns. Um, hopefully some of them are still readily available uh, in the out of print section. That is one of the reasons why I'm doing this video is to let you know, yes, I know the ones that I'm doing the tutorials on and how to sew are the ones that you can't get in the stores anymore. You'd only be able to get them online. Even if the patterns aren't available, I would love to at least you can maybe watch how I do it and um, learn some new techniques or something like that go out and get the pattern before it's not available anymore and if there's something that is equivalent to uh, a pattern that is out of print but something else gets released then I will link to that in the description uh, below and so then it can be a little transferable to uh, the, the pattern that's out of print. This type of vlog isn't going to be a regular occurrence, at least I don't think it will be. I'm not great in front of the camera. I'm just starting to get used to YouTube, even though I've been doing it for about two years. Um, if you notice from my earlier videos, there are actually barely any dialogue. Um, I'm getting better at that, but uh, right now, not really comfortable in front of the camera, even though I've got a really good camera that is great for vlogging. It's mainly the makeup thing. I'm not great at it. But um, I just wanted to let you guys know why I'm doing out of print patterns. And uh, if you want to see any of the out of print patterns in the photo that I just showed uh, earlier in the video, or if there's something that um, you found online that I may actually have in my, my pattern stash, let me know and I will see what I can do. But for the next few videos, they're going to be out of print patterns. Hopefully they can be transferable to uh, some future costumes or co patterns in the future. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video without the face.